Hello everyone, welcome to DCC Nita YouTube channel and today we will be solving this problem code forces round 855 div 3. The name of the problem is unforgivable curse. I hope you all have at least read out the problem and the problem statement is clear to all of you. So basically what this problem was telling that if you have two strings S and T, we can do as many operations as we want on S and we want it to make equals to T. But the operation is something like this that we can swap the uh, characters of S if the absolute difference between the characters is either k or k plus 1. Basically this was the mostly problem statement. Now we have to see how we can solve this problem. So nothing. Uh, let us take the case uh, if the string is, uh, let us take the first case. How we will be doing is t a l a n t t a l a n t and it was given a t l t n a a t l t n a okay. So what we have done, we can swap the, uh, and k was 3 here, k was 3 here. So this 2 can be swapped and this 2 can be swapped, a and t, and this will become uh, fulfilled. But how it was fulfilled, we need to check. So uh, for this, you need to understand how we can segregate it into multiple components. So what is happening, for example, if our string was something like this, from here, I can travel here. From here, I can travel also to here. So this was the position if k was equals to 2. Now, from here, I could I can travel from here to here. And from here, I can also travel to here. Okay. Now, the, there are multiple pathways from here. I can travel uh, in the backward direction too. So I'm traveling in the backward direction. And from here, I can travel to here. And from here, I can travel here. So you can see that if we can travel from at any point uh, in the node to any different point in the array, we can just uh, segregate those components and if we can rearrange those uh, characters of the string and if we are obtaining the other string, then it can be done. Basically what we are doing it, we are segregating into multiple components. If you have uh, seen how DFS is working, what I'm doing is that I'm uh, taking out all the indexes if I select one from one and if k is equals to two, then what is happening from one, I can travel to three or I can travel to four. From three, I can travel to five, I can travel to six. From four, I could have traveled to two also because uh, from two, I can travel back to four. So from four also, I can travel back to two. And similarly from four, I can travel back to one. So it is either earlier also it was connected. From five, I can travel back to three or from five also I can tra travel back to two because uh, absolute difference between 5 and 2 is 3. So you are seeing that a graph like structure is being created. So what you can do in one operation, you can take out all the numbers which are uh, coming out in when I'm passing any index and you can take out all the characters of the segregated indexes. Now, if you can anyhow rearrange those indices and get the string from other rearrangement, if this is possible uh, throughout the whole array, then it is possible to rearrange that string to another string or else it was not. Uh, let me show you my code then it would be more clear to you. So what I have done first, I have taken the inputs and there is a, I have marked a visited array. Okay, there is a map of visited which is uh, by default everything is cleared and now I have taken input two strings. Now what I am doing for every character if uh, for every indice if it is not visited, I am just doing a DFS call in the number. What is being done in the DFS? If DFS is greater than or equal to n, uh, I'm just returning or it is less than zero, then I am returning. Or else I am just uh, marking that, yeah, I am visited this uh, element and I am inserting this element into a set. Now what I'm doing, I am just uh, doing DFS call into four uh, direction. That will be in the forward direction and in the backward direction. In the forward direction, it will be like DFS n plus k or n plus k plus one or n minus k or n minus k minus 1 and if I have already visited I will come back and see that if I have already visited I will just return it okay so what happens after this DFS call all the indices of one component is being put in my this set all the values of that will be present in this set now what I am doing I am creating two strings a and b after this I am just putting all the indices element uh, now I have all the indices now for every element uh, of the indices for string s and t, I am just putting it into a and b. After doing that, I am just sorting it out 
because after sorting if those two elements could have been done into if either by any rearrangement if it was possible to recreate then by sorting also we can just check that if uh, my both the strings are same then it we will continue to the next option or else if it is not same we can directly see out no and return or else we will be checking on keeping on checking that when it is getting no or if all my indices are fulfilled then we can just simply put an yes and just we can return it so this was my whole solution and i can show you that uh, this was accepted so um, let it open okay it got accepted uh, this was the same solution which i did so thank you for watching have a good day